Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Sam and today we are playing Pumpkin Jack. This is a like 3D action adventure platformer kind of thing. Um, you'll see when we start playing it, but it's very Halloween-y. We play as a um, scarecrow jack-o'-lantern head guy named Pumpkin Jack. It's very appropriately Halloween-y and um, I was have been looking forward to playing it for quite a while, so let's just go ahead and get started. And if I need to turn down music or sound effects or anything, let me know. Once upon a time, in the great Arkansil Kingdom, the world lived in peace and coexistence mm. between the humans. The animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. Yay! It was an age of prosperity without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was so very boring. Mm -hmm. So boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan okay. to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. Mm. The devil unleashed the curse of the eternal night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. Nice. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse and backwater town in the kingdom. It was beautiful, <laughs> but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. So they called upon the champion, the mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's power. The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal night. Very well, the devil said. Two can play that game. Okay. Who knows? This might be the fun I've been looking for. So in response to the wizard's quest, he called upon a champion of his own. Stingy Jack, <laughs> history's greatest trickster and con artist, banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. Nice. The devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage to the afterlife. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. Okay. Yay, I'm a villain. Love the art style. I've seen a little bit of this game, but I haven't played it yet. Whee! Here I am! Look at me! Woo! Ooh, okay. Hup, hup. Corn, pumpkins. Hum, this world is a mess, so the devil meant what he said about total death and destruction. Much adorable. Yeah. Very Halloween. Whee! Okay, I have double jump automatically, and I can roll. Nice. How are the sounds? Everything good? Uh, is the balance still good for everybody? A crow! Uh, I guess I can follow the path. Everything's balanced? Nice. What's over here? Nothing. I died! 
And so the great Jack has fallen one time. Oh. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Water is deadly. Good to know. Makes sense. I have a pumpkin head that's on fire. Whee! All right. I'll go the way I'm clearly supposed to go. World is a mess. Looks like it's doing fine as it is, but he still needs me to get rid of some pesky wizard. Woo! Yeah, I've seen a bit of this game played, but have not played it myself. But it's so good. Which begs the question, what kind of wizard can't the devil get rid of get rid of himself? Hmm. Good question. Why do you need me? Why don't you do it yourself? Hello? Ooh. Look who bothered to show up. No, I'm not gonna use that voice. I trust you haven't already lost your brain in that gourd. Grown men have died for less than that bird. Party and insubordinate. Not an amazing first impression, Jack. Who are you? How do you know my name? I am a servant of the devil, and I am here to monitor your work. The devil hasn't forgotten your penchant for trickery, Jack. He doesn't trust you. Just don't slow me down. I haven't forgotten how to roast a chicken. Ho ho ho. Just remember who gave you that fancy new body. Speaking of which, let's begin your orientation. Orientation? What kind of fool do you take me for? The kind who spent centuries incor incorporealis. Or incorporalis. Now stop dawdling. It's time you get acquainted with your new form. <laughs> 